I didn't mean to become a model, but I became a model in Australia, so I did a lot of international modelling. My first contract at 19 was to Tokyo, then I was in Spain and London and Australia, but I'm based out of Australia. So I sort of fell into modelling. I didn't mean to do that because I wanted to be an actress, but I seem to be stuck in that, which is a good thing to be stuck in for eight years. <laughs> yeah, And then, based on that, I moved on to acting because it's sort of a natural thing for me to go to and I started studying so then I got a job in acting. I had a feature script sent to me, you got an audition for this role, I read it. Uh, there was a lot of dialogue in that one. Um, the audition was much harder than actually shooting the movie because there was reams of dialogue which I had to really throw myself into learning and that was hard work. Um, but I really wanted it, I'd never played a superhero before and I love the, the sci-fi genre. And, um, you know, you might laugh, but I think Barbarella is a beautiful character, and I, I felt a little Barbarella esque, if you could say, in this one. Um, and having been a model, the bikini was not a problem for me. I was always in bikinis at that age. It's no, no big deal for me to be in a swimsuit. I don't even think about it, you know, because Australians are always in swimsuits. I actually got it. They did, you may not know this, but they did a worldwide search. The producers told me about this. They didn't just audition in Australia or America, they auditioned in the whole world. So I said, when you say whole world, what do you mean? I was asking the producer, they go, you know, Italy, Spain, uh, you know, South America, North America, blah, 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 Australia. And I'm like, wow, I feel pretty privileged to get it. Um, so I got it. And then, uh, very happy to get it too. It was a few auditions, you know, I had to go through and meet with the director and meet with um, uh, the big producer of Titanic, um, John Landau, and he was the deciding factor. They wanted me, but if he didn't like me as a person, we had a little interview together, then I wouldn't have got it, but he, I, he liked me, so thanks, John Landau. Um, and uh, yeah, and then I, I, she came in after I got sick, so I was performing, we were rehearsing, we were doing camera tests, I did a kick to camera, I fell down in pain, everybody went oh, 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 around the room and that was problematic so I had a, a, it's a simple, it's, everybody knows because it's already on the internet, a cyst on the ovary, a lot of women have it and it was big enough to stop me from working because it was painful. So then they brought her in to finish filming and uh, I think they filmed for five months with her or something and then they came back and asked me to come back in so I was really happy. <laughs> and reshoot everything she did. So it was the biggest budget I'd ever worked on and I hadn't worked with Americans before. Well, kind of. I'd worked on Man From Snowy River with Guy Pearce and they were, um, I think, the family channel. So they, they were Americans involved. So I was already shooting a drama series. I'd already worked on Paradise Beach, which is basically the Baywatch of Australia. <laughs> Um, which is funny and hilarious, if you see it, it's hilarious. Um, <clears throat> and I'd done those shows, uh, and then I got asked to audition for this, and I did it, and I got it, and that was great. Brooke Bannister in um, Paradise Beach. Well, actually, no. I should, no, it actually goes further back than that. I shot a film in Italy. I was, um, I was there as a model and I got uh, auditioned, I went as a modelling role, but I uh, was asked to read by, for Carla Vanzina, the director that night, for this particular part. And he said, you're fantastic, you're going to Rome tomorrow. I was in Milano. And I was like, what? I thought I was going for a modelling role, but I got sent off to do this feature film for Italy with Italian subtitles and what have you. I mean, I spoke English, but they put the subtitles down. Well, I was very nervous because I would have to count my first day, which really was the interview with John Landau. They sent me down to production. I was passing all the hallways and I saw all the beautiful animations up on the wall and gorgeous, you know, illustrations for how this thing was going to go. And it was impressive. I mean, seeing these artists, you know, doing the, the art direction for this film, I was like, oh, this is going to be good. And then I keep walking, I'm seeing all these things going on. And then I get to meet John Landau. And, uh, you know, he's a big deal. And he became even bigger. But uh, 
that was probably my first thing. And then I can't remember precisely, it's a long time ago, but I just remember they were all nice to me. And, you know, I was nervous because I'd never met them, you know, and I'm the new kid on the block doing the film. <laughs> but they were nice, so that's good. No, no, but I was pretty fit. I used to run and swim and in Australia you're always in the water or something um, and go to the gym and you know back in the 80s we did aerobics with those terrible costumes so I mean I was a bit of an aerobic freak um, and I had not any martial arts training but fully physically capable of learning pretty much anything and I was not a dancer or anything like that but um, they were able to give me a martial arts trainer and a fitness trainer so I was having two trainers paid by production to make me look good. <laughs> <laughs> Make you look better. Make, yes, thank you. I like you. I like you thinking. <laughs> like think. Well, I was always pretty concentrated. I was pretty serious because I, I didn't want to screw up my lines and, uh, and my movements. You know, not somebody who'd done a lot of martial arts. I was actually extremely concentrated most of the time I was there. But. Um, you know, at lunchtime and stuff, we'd, we'd mess around, we'd have laughs, you know, I'm still sitting in a bikini, I just got so used to it, I never changed, I just have this on, and sometimes I'd be asked to dailies, you know, and I remember walking to dailies with the director, and they just said, do you want to see dailies? And I'm like, yeah, sure. And then they looked at me and go, do you want to put any clothes on? I went, no, no, because at that point I had been wearing this outfit, it was just like, you know, my, I was used to it, I didn't bother me at all. Um, so that was kind of funny, and then doing camera tests with David, uh, David, I Yoast, I um, was doing a six count with him, you know, proper six count, and we were doing really well and they're filming us, and then my left breast fell out. It's the nicest way I can say it. <laughs> and um, and he looked absolutely shocked, and then everybody, all, every man around the place was looking down, and I was like, what's going what's going what's going oh! <laughs> Anyway, so I was a little scared. It was a bit embarrassing, <laughs> but that's okay. I took away that I'd like to be in more sci-fi <laughs> and I would like to play um, warrior type women which I did go on to play at U uh, Universal, I did Raw with Heath Ledger and I play a chieftain uh, warrior princess from 400 AD, I played in The Magician, I played a, you know, a flame throwing person who's 4,000 years old, um, I went on to do Jackie Chan so I did a lot of action, um, so yes. It sort of set me off in a way that I was like, mm, I can do action and I can do really you know, tough chick roles, which I would love to do more of, even now. No, because uh, it was prof it's a very, very professional job. I mean, it had a lot, a big budget, so it's not messy and difficult. You know, there's everybody has their jobs. You arrive on time, you do this, everything's organised. So for me, there was no problem. It was easy. I go into makeup, I do this. It wasn't easy, but I go in and I do this, and I'm on set on time, and there's there was no hassles. For me, it was a very positive experience. I had no negative experience on that set, other than I got sick, but it wasn't my fault, and it wasn't anybody else's. And then they brought me back, which was really ingratiating. I was, you know, I was humbled by the fact that they went and brought me back. So it was nice. These days, I'm still auditioning now and then. I did shoot something earlier this year. Um, they haven't really named it yet, but it's like a frat boy film. It's silly. I'm playing a sheriff's wife. It's comedy, um, slapstick. A lot of it. It's pretty silly. Um, so we'll see. I think it's not even edited yet, and they, you know, they're still doing that. Um, and then I did a commercial, but I don't really, I'm not really doing so much these days. You know, it's not my main focus. But if there were some really good scripts out there, I'd love to do some features and play older women who are pretty tough and cool and layered. <laughs> <laughs> of course, this is your first time coming to Power Morphicon. Yeah. And I was, you know, before we, you know, started the camera, I was saying, ah, they, they found Gabrielle. Where have you been? That's Where? a good question, you know. <laughs> That's a good question. Because I didn't even really know this was happening. Mm -hmm. You know, I didn't know. Isn't that weird? Um, uh, there was this lovely boy, I would say, who who uh, befriended me on Facebook and he said, are you Delcia? And I said, oh, that's funny, I haven't heard that in years. Yes, I am. <laughs> you don't often hear that name flitted around. Um, and I said, yes, I am. And then I befriended him. I didn't even just, hello, yes, come on in and say hi. So he was on my 
page and, uh, and then he just started telling me about this because you should be doing this and blah 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 and we'd love to see you there and will you do it? I'm like, hmm, yeah, sure, why not? I'd love to do it. So yeah, and that's how I got involved. Oh, so lovely. I didn't know what to expect. I had no idea and I just said, go with an open heart, go with the joy of somebody asking you to do something and go there and do it for them, if not for yourself. But ironically, I've got you know so much back from being here, from all the lovely people. And it was just a pleasure. I, you know, you don't get tired when you've got smiling faces coming towards you and just gorgeous. It's a lovely experience. Oh, okay, I have a final thought. Would you all go get a green bikini and wear it next time? Thank you. And I was walking through all the the doorways and the halls and seeing seeing the uh, animation it's, room it's or the hot. CG room. <laughs> oh look, <Smoking> hey! <laughs> look who's over there! He's pretty hot too. Um, uh, and I saw all the animation. <laughs> Naughty. Um, uh, yeah, I was passing all the hallways and I saw all the